Hello friends, welcome to today's video. I have reached the end of this journal. And so, I'm going to show you what all of these spreads look like. You see them in my setups, but now you'll see what they look like filled in or not filled in because as you'll see, a lot of these spreads are still blank. So, um, usually in the past, I've gone through two bullet journals in a year. Um, it's currently the end of August, um, but this journal goes into September. Um, so I made it a lot farther this year, but I also didn't use my bullet journal as much. I also am in a B5 size this year rather than an A5 size in past years, and so that makes a difference. But, um, yeah. Let's just hop right in and you can see all of my secrets. <laughs> Okay, so this is a B5 size leather notebook from Vegan Leather, sorry, from um, Archer and Olive. And this particular one is no longer available. It was with the plant-based spread collection, but they have like tons of colors and um, designs and stuff. And I love all of their notebooks. So um, the new one that I'll be moving into is from there as well. And I've been using their notebooks for about two years now. So yeah. That is what the notebook is that I'm using. So <laughs> starting off, I wrote my name, but I only wrote it in pencil, so that's great. Um, I have my future log. I did it like this with a little tab. So it has all the months. Um, then my goals and my goal breakdown for the year. Scooch you over a little bit. Um, and then I just have like some business goals for Bloom Journals and then into the month of January. As you can see, I had great goals in the month of January. Um, this is, this is when you see the real me. Um, this was the month of January. I was taking a bunch of classes and then I dropped like all of them. And then my weekly spreads. They were all pretty simple. I did not go too crazy. And usually this is how it goes where um, they get less and less complicated as the month goes along. Month of February. Again, had great goals and really showed my gratitude in the month of February. <laughs> See, sometimes I just don't fill out spreads. I make them with the intent to fill them out and to use them. And then I don't. And that's just the way it goes. And then again, into the weeklies, to do random blank page. Yeah, so I wrote, I did one weekly in the month of February, and then I didn't use it for the rest of the month. And then we're into March. <laughs> so sometimes that's just how it happens where I don't use my journal very much. Uh, again, didn't even fill this out. This I did use. There's some weeklies for you and blank pages into the month of April. Some goal check-ins that I did as well as some video ideas. I did fill out my book stuff for the month of April. Look at me go. And now we're in the month of May. This was my YouTube schedule and my Instagram schedule. And then, yeah, I did not fill out these book spreads. This was um, some goal check-ins that I had. And then that's when I started doing my daily um, scheduling rather than weekly. So that's, they're all the same, basically. Some Bloom Journal stuff, more just to-do list and time schedules, and then June. 
sometimes I plan a lot of things in a week and sometimes I hardly use it at all. This is, again, YouTube and Instagram schedule. As you can see, I don't really use my Instagram scheduling pages that much. This was for goals, I didn't fill it out. This was for books, I didn't fill it out. <laughs> and then this is when I started doing these tabs for weeklies and I did not continue this for the next month because the next three sections of tabs were blank, basically. So I felt like it was a little bit of a waste. Now we are to the month of July really liked this theme. Again, didn't really use my Instagram scheduler. And I did not fill out my favorite and least favorite, although I could go back and do that. And I might, just so that it's not so empty. Again, as you can see, I kind of get lazier as time goes on. A blank page. August. I haven't filled this out yet because I am, at the time of filming this, it's still August, so I am actually not behind on this one. Maybe I'll actually fill it out. But I didn't use the Instagram schedule. I've used these spreads a lot to do lists before my baby comes and hospital packing. And then there is just a bunch of, that was a to-do list thing for my baby shower time schedulers, to-do lists, that's today, so then there's some blank pages because there's still a few days left in August for me to use, September, and then there's some stuff I can't show you, this is stuff for September, the next pages are my scheduling pages but I cannot show them to you because they have secrets and then that's the first month or first week of September and then the rest of these are blank because it's not quite the end of September yet and then that is what the back page of my journal looks like so yeah that is this year in bullet journaling all right that was it I hope you enjoyed seeing what it looks like um, after the pen, as they say. Um, I might go back in and fill in some of these spreads <laughs> that I didn't, like the book ones, because it just kind of feels like a little bit of a waste. <laughs> um, but yeah, stay tuned. Once my new journal arrives, I will be making a, like, setting up my new bullet journal video type of thing. So that should be coming in the future. I don't know when, cause I don't know when it's gonna get here or when it will be <laughs> published or anything, but in the future. So you should subscribe so that you know, and then you will be notified when that video is up. Right? Okay. <laughs> Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.